Hello again, folks, and welcome to a new Let's Play. This is Shonen Jump Shaman King Master of Spirits 2 for the Game Boy Advance. I'm your Dungeon Master Darius, and, uh, well, it's about time I get to this one. Uh, won't lie. Of the two, this sucker has been sitting in my GBA collection for a long ass time, and honestly, I've barely have ever touched it. It's um it's one of those games I never really picked up because I played very little of the first one as much as I did. So here's hoping that I can uh you know do that. This is a game from an incentive from raising money so that I can move, which again if people wish to contribute to that, uh there are still games that need unlocking uh around the time of this. And, um, yeah, pretty good chunk of a way through with that uh, incentive stuff, and I look forward to playing some of the games on that list for you guys. But for now, um, let's dive into Xiaomi King. Uh, uh, mm, mm, normal, why not? The Grand Shaman Committee has just issued an official statement. The King of Spirits has grown strangely quiet. Without knowing his will, we cannot proceed with the Shaman Tournament. Committee Leader Goldva has summoned the Grand Shaman Council to gather information and discover the reason behind the King of Spirits sudden silence. But until further notice, the Shaman Tournament is suspended. Please take this time to take advantage of Dobie Village's many fine shops and boutiques. Yeah, that sounds like a 4Kids retranslation. Yo, Doby Village seems rather peculiar today. Something's not right. Yeah, it's like everyone just took off. I wonder what happened. Allow me to explain. Zeke! It's a soul hunt. A soul hunt? My spirit of fire has devoured each and every soul here. I really like him to consume yours as well, yo. But it's not time yet. I need you to be stronger, my brother. Master Zeke, Master Zeke. There's not much time. We ought to get going. Of course, Apacho. Let's go. Spirit of Fire er, is still hungry. Luchess, do you have to learn to relax? No need to be on guard all the time. Ha. Yo, all that stuff Zeke was saying sounded pretty serious. Yeah, we gotta do something before it's too late. Let's go after him. Indeed. You're alone on this one, yo. Too bad for you, because it sounds like a real drag. What? Look, I got some serious shopping to do. And Morty would just get in your way, right? And without Spike's big sis and Lee Pai Long, we can't do anything here. Good luck, yo. Come back alive or you'll never hear the end of it. Oh, that was a short introduction. Uh, so I've only played, I've only tested a little bit of this, but it still does have its shop. Start with a little bit of money. We can increase the amount of decks that we have beyond the standard. Uh, but we're still limited in weight, and each of these weigh a bit. Not to mention cost a bit. We can check our statuses. Uh, health and special powers makes since either of those drop to zero is either game over or I can't use abilities. My attack power, my defense, uh, my different uh, shikigami amulet stuff, the leaks, the stones, the dolls. How long it's been since I played uh, time, all that fun stuff. The spirit decks, my items. I'll get the wooden swords and 
I'm assuming I get a defense item at some point. Uh, and once again, the spirit shaman book thingy and the Yagatama beads, which again are split into four, despite the fact that Yagatama beads are, you know, two halves, but I digress. And EX items, which, um... I assume is going to be something interestingly special. I assume. Now again, I did play this a little bit. It pretty much acts like the first one, you know, don't... If it don't... If it ain't broke, don't fix it. The one annoying thing I can say, though, is that every single time that you kill an enemy, you get a little flash. And it's pretty basic, um... Like, three-button comedy? Well, four, if you want to count. Because L would be an activation of another spirit. R is to activate the right spirit. I can jump. I can attack. I get combos. I assume I'm going to get more combos later on, but until then, I got three slashes. And again, flashes are just kind of a part of the game. That does not seem like a good design, but what do I know? I guess this... W I guess it would make sense... That the flashes would be there for the Game Boy Advance and whatnot, but man... It's gonna get annoying, and I can already promise you that. It seems like... Uh, creatures also drop money a little bit more frequently. So, that's a plus. And as far as I know, this is a Metroidvania style, much like the first one. Oh, drop some money. And kill those spirits. Bats. Come on. Now this is gonna be a little bit janky because again I'm playing with one of these not Super Nintendo controllers, at least not officially licensed. I don't know what that does. Oh wait, I see what it does. So it seems that there's temporary power-ups? Wow, that is so temporary it's almost useless. Cool. So that mushroom gave me a whole little bit of defense, I'm assuming. Uh, you could tell by there was a shield by my uh, life bar. Okay. Get more. Oh. <laughs> okay, I do vaguely remember these things being of annoyance. You essentially had to get them to spin, and that destroyed them. Otherwise, they hurt you. That's that's all about that's about all I really remember of the special mechanics of the game. Ooh, hello. Angioscope. I believe that was the look around button. Okay. Well, that's a chunk of health gone. So now I can't help but wonder whether or not each monster has a chance of dropping a spirit. Like if I drop, hit these guys, I totally look like Burmese from um, Pokemon. Is that the one I'm thinking of? I mean, hanging plant dude. There's like four different ones. There we go. I think that's it. Yeah, save here. Oh, okay. So I think what these are, the dope gates, which will act as kind of teleportation spots. So that'll be neat. Okay. So here's the thing. 
I pretty much played up to this far, just kind of testing how this game's gonna, you know, go. And there's the Magatama. Again, get four of an item that there's usually two of, but I digress. So, as far as I recollect, Shaman King more or less takes place in America. Like, I think. I, I don't know. It's been forever since I've last watched it. And no, I did not watch the, uh, reboot, remaster, whatever you want to call it. Really should have. Maybe I should now that I'm playing this again. Well, un I say again, I mean more another Shaman King game. <laughs> that said, uh, why are there pyramids? And, uh, why, why are there mummies? Fairly certain that it did take place in, like, the deserts of Nevada or something like that. I don't know. My remembrance of anything Shaman King is very, very, very mild at best now. Also, for those that are not familiar with the story of Shaman King, uh, I'm not gonna hold back spoilers. I am playing the game of it. So, y'all don't, that don't wanna, you know, be spoiled, leave now, and come back after you watch the series. I don't think it's even that long. 50 episodes. Which I suppose by most standards of people, when it comes to anime, is not that long. Dad, what are you doing here? I thought maybe I should give you some advice. Oh yeah? I hate to break it to you, but you're not strong enough to fight Zeke, yo. If you fight, if I fight and defeat you now, will you agree to turn back? It's for your own good. What do you think, Amitabaru? I am already for, always ready for action. Let's do it then. Ah, yes. Okay. Well. Note to self, probably should use the shop. Oh. Really? Ow, oh, and that kills my momentum of my jump. Alright. Ow, oh, you teleporty bastard. That wasn't even- Ow, oh, you jerk. Yeah, I 100% should have bought some food. Come here. Come here. Come here. Why do I get the feeling that's gonna be the motif? Boy, I'm gonna need food for all of these, aren't I? You teleporty son of a bitch. Really? Alright. And I'm dead. Cool. Well, I'm gonna go back to the title screen because I want to go to the shop to buy food so that I can actually, you know, win that one. To the shop. Welcome. I guess two hot dogs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I got get a third one just in case. Save. Blah blah blah. Talk is cheap, old man. You know, I say old man. Don't even actually remember how old he's supposed to be in the show. Not yo. The, um, his dad. Sirs? You teleporting son of a bitch. Wait, was that actually him? Holy shit. Stop that. Doing some sort of fire spell on me. I'm your son, damn it. This is what we call poor parenting. 
Man, parents in the Shaman King suck. Yeah, I said it. Tomo the Shaman King, get four to for full Furyoku. You're certainly stronger than you used to be. I never thought you'd defeat me. Yeah, but you were going easy on me, right, Dad? Uh, yeah, of course I was. I, uh, wait, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, I got something for you here. Yamagami. Ryo, are you okay? He's fine, he's just a little knocked out. Oh. I'll take Ryo back to Dobi Village, but you should take T Tokugero along with you. He'll help you move that wooden chest up ahead. Good luck, yo. Wow. Two whole spirits in the first episode. This is gonna be a breeze. He says, actually not knowing shit. Alright. So we got Tokugero, who once again will use his big thumb to push wooden boxes. The rival of Amiramaru is reduced to pushing boxes. Again. I'd also picked up Kanta at some point. Uh, he will throw paint. And Yamagami. Four balls of fire spin around the player. That's pretty neat. I wonder what the stars mean next to the thing. I think that means... Oh! So in the last game... Amidamaru was powered up through not only the story, but also getting the Sword of Light. So I'm thinking that's what that means. Just that they're powered up more. Uh, that said, might as well set up a second deck. I'll set up a third just so as a, I can show off Kanta. And a fourth to show off Yamagami. That said, really quickly... I'm gonna go backwards because I saw a big old crate that I couldn't push before. And I wish to push it now. I forget which of these it was in, but I know it was in one of these. Let's see, here's Yamagami. Your general purpose. Surroundy character attack. I can press select to swap through my stuff. Yep, that certainly was paint. <laughs> That's a whole four damage. Cool. Oh, Furyoku actually regenerates pretty swiftly. Or maybe it's just faster than I recollect, for whatever reason. Ow. Can just bull rush through all the enemies, but it does hurt. Whee! Alright, here and box. Uh, they totally didn't just reuse a bunch of animations from the first game. I don't know what you're talking about. I ain't hating on that, though. I'm, I'm not going to hate on designers going, you know what? Let's save money by, uh, by making it so as there's a, just, a, just a little bit of reusable things. They do that in plenty, plenty of games. I ain't going to bash them for that. That'd be stupid, for one. Game designing and game development is hard, yo. If there's any corners that you can relatively cut cheaply, then it's alright. That said, I'm kind of already expecting a level where I fight Faust. Was it Faust the 7th or Faust the 8th? Go away. God, I really need to rewatch it. Freaking the Shaman King. Ow. Just do a lot of damage. 
the not full HP, but I'll take it. So again, when you go through the levels and accumulate damage and whatnot, uh, you will eventually get to the end and you will replenish that HP. Curious. Yep, that's a dead end. But if you go backwards through the level, then uh, you ain't gonna get shit back. Is this a factory or a clown factory? Oh! Technology! Ow! Oh, I already hate it. I don't know why I'm bothering with slaying some of these things. Freaking clowns. Oh! I think I just got a thing that'll make you so as my Furyoku is... Not infinite. I'm not sure what that did. Yep. Who the hell am I gonna fight here? Like, usually most of these places are themed. Or there's a particular character that you know that you're gonna come out, come across. Oh, you're going to the cemetery? Well, I guess you're gonna fight the Necromancer character. Book of Learning, Ground Skills, 44B. Uh, give me a second. Ooh! Actual techniques! That aren't honestly as good as you would think, but alright. I don't know, when I develop a technique, I would really, really, really hope that they actually, you know, did something. Um, sure. Gussie Kenji? Or Goosey? I don't know. Gus. I'm gonna go with Gus. That sounds less weird. Hello, clown. Ow. Hi. Mm. Oh, this annoying prick. Actually, I'll... I'm not gonna kill him. You heard me. I'm gonna kill him. Okay, I think I got an idea of what the flashing means. I had originally thought that the flashing means that they're, like, invincible, but... Nope. Flashing means that they have a spirit that I do not yet have. Oh, is that... Okay, that's neat. I don't know if that's gonna be a consistent thing, but it's showing on the thumbnail there that they require you to have a particular thing, like they show the boxes. Uh, that said... I'm gonna diverge here in a hot tick. Don't know why that second attack does no damage, but... Eh. Okay, so Red Mushroom is for increased attack power, Blue Mushroom is for increased defense. Doubled attack power, rather. But again, it lasts, um, very shortly. Like, why even bother levels of shortly? Shortly's not the word I'm looking for. What is the word I'm looking for? I don't know the word I'm looking for. Sir, give me your treasure. 
I just got a lemon, which healed me for five. Oh, Magatama, Magatama, Magatama. I might need to go the other direction for that Magatama bead. Ooh, those guys hurt. Yup. I might be glad that I bought those hot dogs in the first place. Okay, there's got to be something to go up that way. I have no clue which way I am supposed to be going. Welcome. But I already feel like I gotta buy a hot dog. Thank you. Maybe two. I got a lot of money already. Four thousand? I could buy like ten more hot dogs with that. But I'm gonna go ahead and call an episode here. Um, when we return, I'm not sure where the frick we're going. And that's okay, because these games kind of always played like Metroidvanias. Which is good, because I do like Metroidvanias. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I hope to be enjoying playing it. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.